Hi there. Joe Garufi here. I'm from upstate New York in the Cobuskill area, about 40 miles west of Albany, New York. Um, I am going to start a new YouTube channel, uh, hopefully today, <laughs> so I can take all the subscriptions I can get and all the views and reviews and whatnot. But I'm, uh, I'm going to call myself Upstate New York at home prospecting. Um, I am going to be panning gold. And this is not something normally done in, in upstate New York. Uh, I've watched a whole bunch of these gold shows and Gold Rush and Dave's Gold This and Everybody's Gold. <laughs> uh, and I really enjoy those shows so much. Bering Sea Gold, really one of my favorites. Um, and then I started watching the YouTube videos of people that are really doing panning and doing this stuff. Um, and this, I came across this guy, Shane, from Flesh Guitars. And he really was, I was so hooked. I really enjoy your videos, Shane. Um, they're so educational. He gets to go so many different places. He just does it right. And it's just amazing. Um, but he's in Colorado where you can actually pan gold. Um, and, you know, it... it it's just great stuff. I just learning a lot, you know. I learn learning how to do it. It's a little bit of geology. Um, we have, you know, gemstones. A lot of beautiful gemstones with precious metals. Um, in upstate New York, unfortunately, or in any place in New York, you're not supposed to keep any precious metal. New York State has a really weird rule where um, there's they don't they don't want to give up the gold <laughs> or precious metal. It all goes back to them, but. Who knows? There, there's probably not that much gold in this part of the country. There might be some glass or gold somewhere. I don't know. Um, but right now, um, I'm going to do a little bit of a review um, of um, this Gold Strike Pay Dirt from Plesh Guitar. Um, gold uh, Pay Dirt. Um, Plesh Gold Pay Dirt. There's five skill levels available. Um, it looks like the gold strike right in the middle. Um, so I'm fairly new at this. I've done this about, I've, I've done about six or seven of these. Um, I've started out really tiny. I got 11 tiny pieces of gold my very first time. I was amazed. I used the magnifying glass and looked at it. It was small, very tiny flower gold. Um, I went to a sampler size, um, I went through a, a couple other things, and, uh, and w I did one of these uh, gold strike pay dirts. Now I have a little over two grams of gold right now. Um, I have almost one gram of gold out of this, so I really was hooked on this because I almost got a whole gram of gold out of the last one. So I'm really excited about doing this one. I'm excited about doing it on film. I'm excited about trying to get this up and running on YouTube. Um, again, I'm, I like to call myself Upstate New York at Home Prospecting. I'm very new at this. If I, I'm always looking for pointers. And uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a look at what we have in here. We're going to go through all the steps. I'm going to explain those to you in a moment. And... Um, I believe I'm going to start here soon. So thanks again, folks. I hope that I can get this out to you guys and I can get some information back from y'all because I am from upstate New York, at home prospecting. Joe Garufi, JGG. So here we go. I'm going to tilt this down just to here. Show you what I'm doing. All right. This could be a long video, folks, but we'll edit it a little bit and all that good stuff. All right. So, first thing we want to do is we're going to take a look at it in our pan. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't stand this. This is really exciting. Okay. And I know I've already seen some gold in here. 
And I've seen some other flaky stuff, and there's all kinds of different things that kind of look like gold and are very shiny. Now, I am going to um, take some water a little bit later and go through this so that we don't actually miss anything in there. All right, but right now I just want to kind of go through it a little bit, see what we have in here. Ah, boy, last time I got a, a nice plush guitar pick. Huh? This time no guitar pick. Yeah, I do see a couple of flakes of gold in here. Wow. I'm kind of surprised. I was kind of hoping for that guitar pick, but we've got a couple of beautiful, beautiful pieces. Uh, looks like like amethyst or something. They're nice. Purple. I'm going to pick some of these beautiful rocks out of here before we even start. And get rid of some of the bigger rocks. And we got a nice piece of quartz here. Nice piece of quartz. Get rid of the bigger rocks out of here. Okay, well. Boy, I see a lot of color in here. You don't see anything real big like I did last time. Last time I got a couple of really big pieces out of here. So let's go ahead and class let's go ahead and classify this first. Well, I got a little piece of something from the river there. Okay, so let's go ahead and start by taking this. sure I get it all in here. two classifications, large and small. But before we move on, I'm going to go ahead and I am going to get out some of the magnetic material. So our first step was to, you know, just to check everything out in the pan. We'll classify it down, in this case, just to two sizes that we have with a regular kitchen strainer. And then now I'm going to see how much magnetic material that we have in here. I just have a couple of fairly strong magnets here and I just kind of fit them inside this pill file here and I'm just going to run this over and see how much magnetic material is actually in there. It's going to be a little bit easier to pan um, if you get that out. I'm going to put my magnetic material uh, in, uh, in this little bowl right here so let's see okay we have some as you can see we do have some magnetic material on there and of course in that there's a lot and you can see sand and stuff in there so we're going to pan that out also but we're going to put it in here for now and you can always Try to take out as much as that as possible and put some of that sand back in there. Yeah, there we are. There's some. All right, so let's see. There's not a huge amount of black sand in there, but there is actually some. 
Now you can see, we're gonna get some of that black, that black sand out of there and make it so much easier to pan. Black sand is heavy and the gold will just flow right along with it. And I see so much gold in here, so much shiny material that I know that some of that's not gold. Some of it's like a, that, that formica type of, not really exactly sure. I should probably look it up. Um, as I go along, you guys can tell me exactly what that is. Um, so that I do know and in the future I can, um, I can, you know, tell you exactly what it is and be confident about that. Like I said, I'm very new at this. Um, it's only my seventh time, I believe. My first time was a little tiny, tiny thing that I got with a kit. And I got 11 tiny pieces of gold out of it. Well, you know what? I just got most of the uh, magnetic material out of there. I'm going to see if there's any bigger magnetic material. Let's see what we got in here. Um, I can see some gold in here also. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. I'm going to pick a couple pieces out of here. We'll go ahead and pan it out. But there's some larger pieces in here that I, I'd like to show you. I'm going to go ahead and put the larger stuff in here. Let me get out those rocks that are already in there. Because I'll pan this out too. Because you never know that. There might be something there. That's what. There is definitely gold in here. I can see it. Quite a bit of it. And they look like they're big enough to pick out with a pair of tweezers. So um, uh, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't pick a piece out or two that, that I see here just to show you. Uh, but so far what we've done, and you can see here, I have two classifications, small and large. I have magnetic material, small and large. It's going to make it easier to pan. Now I am going to do like a teaspoon or a tablespoon at a time of this. Again, I'm not very experienced at this and I don't want to miss any gold. And I also will pan this a couple of times. Now here's a beautiful, nice little piece of gold. I don't know if you can see that there in that. Oh my goodness. Beautiful little chunk of gold. Wow, that's just sweet. It's just so cool to see. Whoops, there it goes. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to have to pan that one out because <laughs> it's in here. It's in there. <laughs> there it goes. All right, we're going to have to pan that one out. Yeah, there's another nice little chunk of gold. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to also pan those out in there because I really want to show you and see how much, how heavy that gold is compared to everything else when you do pan it out in there. We'll take some of these bigger rocks out after we do that. But right now, we're going to put this aside. We're going to put all this aside for now. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to start panning this out. All right. Now, when I actually um, get to editing this tape, I probably will fast forward through a lot of this um, and just kind of go through the good parts. But we'll, we'll see what we can do from there. But let's go ahead and get, I have here my, now, Shane calls his Krusty Rusty. I don't know what to call this. You guys can give me a, <laughs> you guys can give me an idea what you want to call it. But I'll tell you what, this is an old bedpan. Because I'm a little bit old. I've had about a, 13 surgeries on my legs and hips and all that kind of stuff. So I got that Well, I was in the hospital one time. But it works really well. So we're going to go ahead and put a little water in that. Then we're going to uh, jet dry. That's what I was trying to think of the last time. Jet dry or um, a little bit of detergent as a surfactant. You don't have to put a huge amount of water in there. That's certainly enough just to pan things out. 
All right, well, now I've got to figure out which one I want to pan into. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put all the large stuff in this bowl. With all that gold that's in there, I'll tell you, there is some pieces of gold in there. I've already seen it. But let's put the large stuff in there. Let's put our smaller stuff here. And I'm actually going to use this small 10-inch pan to pan out. Because I can use it with a smaller amount. It's perfect. It's not too big for me. Um, like I said, I'm a little bit of a novice. So we're going to try to get all the gold out of here. Um, first things first, we have to put a surfactant in here. It breaks the surface tension of the water so that the finer gold, the smaller gold, doesn't float away. So I have here a little Dawn dish liquid. And we're going to put just a drop or so in here. And that's going to help make sure that things don't float away. Um, now, we've got everything separate. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start panning. Um, I am going to go through a couple of the tablespoons. And then I'll probably uh, fast forward or... I'll keep the film rolling, but um, we'll see how it goes. Maybe you won't see the whole thing. I know it gets boring, but anyways, here we go. Joe, Joe, come on, go. We want to find the gold. I'll tell you, I'm so excited. I love this. This is so exciting. I had such a good time doing this. I'll tell you, I enjoy it. Okay, well, here we go. Wow. Let's just do a little half of okay. Yeah, let's just do a little bit to start. Oh my goodness, I can see a lot of gold in there already. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna we're gonna pan this up. Oh boy. Yeah. Now gold is heavy and it should sink right to the bottom of that pan. Alright, I gotta give it a little whooshy whooshy. There you go. Nice. Alright. Now let's see what we can get. We're going to pan this back. And we're going to see what we got here. And you can see, just kind of pan it back a little at a time. A little at a time. Yeah, oh my goodness, you can already start seeing a whole bunch of gold there. Wow, look at that. That is exciting. So exciting when you just pan that back and just see that gold. And you just be a little careful because, oh, we got one trying to escape there. But boy, I'll just bring it back a little bit, a little bit more here. And then, uh, Oh my goodness, it's so cool to see this. When you finally start panning everything back and you can just start seeing the color. It is just amazing. You just start seeing all that color. I'm just going to bring it this way. And hopefully you can kind of see the gold that's in there. And then uh, we're going to suck that up with our little bottle here. Boy, there's a lot of gold there. Wow. Very cool. Ah. I just need a little bit of put some of that water back in there. All right, there we go. All right, so there we go. Now we got that gold. All right, so we are going to pan this all over again. So I do want to just put that little bit in there and keep going because there's certainly a lot here. And boy, that was there's a lot of gold in here. It's a lot of gold. So I'm only going to be doing a little tiny bit at a time. Because I certainly found a lot in there and I don't want to miss any. So fun.
Let's kind of mix it around. Bop, 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 bop. Yeah, get a little of that excess off of there. Yeah, man. There we go. We're gonna we're gonna try to bring her on back here. Let's see what we got for gold, but uh oh, I just saw a flake there. I'm gonna have to come back for that one. And oh yeah, there we go. Oh boy. All right, well we certainly got we didn't get as much gold out of that one. But we certainly got some gold out of it. So let's go ahead and suck that on up, and we'll keep going. Let's go ahead and bring that back again. Let's try. Bring that back. Let's see if we got anything else in there. Nope. All right there. All right. So we'll just keep rolling. Rolling, 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 rawhide. Look at that, look at that, look at that. <laughs> oh, yeah, brother. Whoopman Jack. Come on. Get it. All right. We're going to get some gold. Hi there, kitty. Oh, there goes the strange cat I've never seen. Kitty, 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 kitty. Yeah, you're a cute kitty cat. Yeah, you know, never seen that cat before. Oh, boy, there's a piece of gold right there. I just want to make sure that it doesn't float back. It's staying there. Huh, there you go. It is staying. There we go. Oh, yeah, there you go. Gold. Oh, that's a nice little chunk. Wow, look at that. Okay. Well, we're going to bring that back, and let's see if I can find my tweezers here. Here we are, and there's really a nice little chunk of gold right there, and I just picked it up, and man, that's a chunkster. So we're going to take that chunk, we're going to put it right inside our, we're going to put it right down the old deal there. Ha! Ah, that's a big one. And then we're going to set this up because there is some beautiful gold in there. Hi! Gonna set this up right up. Yeah, baby. All right, so let's try that one more time. Get some of that. Biggie stuff out of there. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Lots of gold. There we go. Oh, boy. Look at that. Oh, she goes. Yeah, brother. All right. So we're just going to put a little bit of this water back in here in my snuff bottle. As I tend to bring a lot of water up there but i want to do a little check see what we have so far and i'm going to show you let's see what we got so far whoops be careful there's a big old chunk in there wow so far we're pretty you know what we're not even a little way through this and i think i got like at least a quarter gram of gold in here Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, well, if I could really show you everything, I would. But it's it's impressive at this point for what we got so far. Very impressive. So I think you can, might be able to see that. So impressive so far. Okay, let's get that back in our snuff bottle.
Got to be in there, right? Here we go. Oh, yeah, you don't want to get, you don't want to get too much of it off of there. All right, let's see what we got here. There we go. There we go. Nice. Nice. Alright folks, you know what, I am going to probably put this aside for now, and I'm going to pick this up a little bit later or tomorrow, just because I'm getting tired, and I don't want to miss any gold. So for now, hasta la vista. Hi. All right, here we are back, and we're going to go ahead, and we're going to put our pay dirt in, a, in our gold pan, um, and we're going to kind of just take a little bit of a look at it, and we're going to classify it. All right, so I'm going to bring this down so that you guys can just see what I'm doing, and uh, uh, here we go. All right. So right off the bat, taking a look at the top, I can see some little bit larger rocks. I don't know if you can take a look in there and see what we got going in there. A little bit of larger rocks. Um, Alrighty, not really seeing anything on the top as far as gold. But let's see here. I am going to take just a minute. Oh boy, I did just see a piece of gold. Just saw a piece of gold. Uh, give me just a moment. I'll be right back. Hey, how we doing? And um, I'm back. We were doing our uh, Clutch Gold Pay Dirt review. And I just wanted to show you what we actually got from our Clutch Gold um, Pay Strike Pay Dirt. And hopefully we can get this on YouTube and we get some hits. Uh, I've never done that before, so uh, we'll see what happens. But anyways, here we are, and I got some pretty cool stuff um, to show you. We got some really cool rocks. Um, I'm not exactly sure what everything is, but we do definitely have a little piece of petrified wood, uh, which is really cool. Um, we have a very nice clear green type of rock and a very nice clear purple type of rock um, got a couple of those very nice purple 
um, some quartz. I know there's quartz, there was a type of quartz, and so I'm not exactly sure. So I'm going to look all that up, and I'll figure all that out later. But um, I also got a nice Clash guitar pick. Um, I am a guitar player, so I always love that. Um, so now we're going to weigh out our gold and see what we got. Um, last time that I, uh, I, I did, I did the gold strike pay dirt bag. I wasn't able to get the film out and I got 0.85 grams of gold in that one. So I was really, really excited about that. And here we are. Let's get that all kind of centered up here. And we'll see what that comes out to be. So, this gold strike pay dirt, we were able to get 0.53 grams of gold. So, that is a half a gram of gold that is guaranteed. That's great. I enjoyed, really enjoyed um, panning this out. Uh, I hope to be able to do this in the future some more. Um, so, I am going to start a YouTube channel and I'm going to try to keep going with this. So I'm going to put some information on YouTube and uh, hopefully we'll get some subscribers and we'll, uh, we can try to keep this thing going. So thank you very much. Till the next time.